Hi guys, welcome to Chili Pot Kitchen. My name is Tarshini. The summer is not complete without watermelon, but watermelon isn't just about the fruit pink flush. There is one part of this fruit you probably ignoring, but you shouldn't be. That is called dread. This is far more than a scrap to be thrown in the trash. It's more versatile than you think and it still have a lot of life left in it. Turn the leftovers of the sweet summer fruit into a candied fruit. I'm using homemade natural food color gels. It won't be vibrant as we get it from store bought gel, but it's super healthy and it is safe to give it to kids. And it doesn't taste like we are eating some veggie or fruit. Check out the description box below for the recipe link for homemade gel food color. Looking for more instant pot or electric pressure cooker, air fryer and instant pot blender recipes? Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more easy and tasty video recipes. I post new videos every Tuesday, Friday and Sunday. Let's check on the ingredients. Take a screenshot of ingredients or check the description box below later. Let's get started. Remove the green and red part of the watermelon. Cut the watermelon rind with a knife. Peel the skin and cut into small pieces. The watermelon rind, which is nothing but the firm white part of the fruit that's left behind after the bright pink flush has been eaten or scooped out. We tend to toss this part of the fruit, but it's a crisp texture similar to cucumber and is pretty versatile. Scoop away the pink flush and rinse it in the water. Now let's peel the green skin to get the watermelon rind. This is rind. Rinse it again. Cut the watermelon rind into small cubes for uniform cooking. To the inner pot, add watermelon rind and 3 4 cup of sugar and 1 cup of water. Give it a quick mix. Close the lid and make sure that the vent is in the sealing position. high pressure manual or pressure cook mode for 1 minute until the watermelon rind cubes turn into a semi transparent even though they are not half cooked no worries it will cook well with sugar syrup if you are new to my channel welcome make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell icon to get notified about new videos do a quick release open the lid carefully it's half cooked Turn on the saute mode, boil for 15 to 20 minutes, cook until getting one string consistency of sugar syrup. For me it took 19 minutes. Just stir in between, add vanilla essence in the end. This is the right consistency. I use this tutti frutti in my ice creams, cakes, toppings for Indian desserts like falooda, mastanis, cookies etc. Now cancel the sauté mode. Divide the cooked watermelon rind into equal parts along with sugar syrup. Add a homemade food gel or any food color of your choice. I have taken red, orange and green color. Red color made from beets, green color made from spinach and the orange color made from carrots. I just added 2-3 to three drops of it. It won't taste like fruits or veggies. Let them soak for an hour. It takes approximately 24 hours to dry completely. Now drain off the sugar syrup and spread the tutti frutti in the tray or plate layered with the paper towel to absorb the water content. Don't mix the tutti frutti before it gets dry. The color might mix up. You can use any color of your choice. It's completely safe to give it to kids. No more chemical food colors. You can make your own color easily at home. Pat it gently with another paper towel to get rid of excess water. After 4 hours, transfer it to the tray without a paper towel. Let it dry over the counter. When you drain the soaked watermelon rind, you will have the syrup and that can be used to a sweetened dessert, drink or pour it over the ice cream. Once the tutti frutti dries off completely, it will not be sticky. So you can mix all the colors tutti frutti together. Ta-da! Look at the organic homemade tutti frutti is ready. No preservatives added, no artificial color. Store it in airtight container and refrigerate it. It will be good for 5-6 to six months. Thanks for watching my video. If you like the video, give a thumbs up. Do try this recipe at your home and give me your feedback in the comment section below. If you are new to my channel, please do subscribe. If you have any questions or feedback, write it in the comment section below. I will respond to it as soon as possible. See you guys in the next video. Bye.